Now we're going to look at several ways to express the reactions that occur in aqueous solution. What we've been looking at so far is a balanced chemical reaction known as molecular equation. In molecular equations, all of the reactants and the products are written as their chemical formula. However, there's another way to more to completely describe what's going on, and that's what's known as a complete ionic equation. And the difference between it and the molecular equation is that in the complete ionic equation, strong electrolytes are written as the ions, which is how they actually exist in solution. Now remember, you've got to be able to identify strong electrolytes, that is soluble ionic compounds, strong acids, and strong bases. And we'll look at how you can identify these a little bit later. Insoluble substances and non-electrolytes are written as the chemical formula. That's because solids, liquids, and gases um, are not necessarily dissolved and therefore they're in the molecule form. And if it's a non-electrolyte, even though they may be dissolved, they don't exist as ions. So here's our molecular equation. We have potassium hydroxide reacting with magnesium nitrate. And down here, we have these strong electrolytes. These are soluble, as so the AQ indicates, ionic compounds because they begin with metals. And they're broken apart into the ions, the way they actually exist. So this would be a complete ionic equation. Now notice the precipitate that forms, the insoluble magnesium hydroxide, stays together because since it's not dissolved, it is not broken apart into its ions. To write a complete ionic equation, all we're doing is rewriting the molecular equation and dissociating the strong electrolytes into individual ions. If you need some extra practice writing, um, writing dissociation equations, there's some extra worksheets uh, online that you can practice. So let's look at some pointers here. Strong electrolytes have to be aqueous. Solids, liquids, or gases cannot be electrolytes. All soluble ionic compounds are strong electrolytes, and strong acids are strong electrolytes. These are the three strong electrolytes you have to be, three strong acids you need to be familiar with. Now acids are going to break apart into H plus and Cl minus, H plus and the nitrate ion, and then this will be 2H plus and SO4 2 minus. Weak acids do not completely dissociate, only a small amount dissociates, so we don't write them dissociated. Molecular compounds are not made of ions, they share electrons to stay together. Therefore, we leave them in the molecular form, written as their chemical formula. Now, taking the, I, taking the complete ionic equation one step further, is what's known as the net ionic equation. And the net ionic equation tells you the chemistry that happens, and that's all it tells you. So for example, let's look at this complete ionic equation for the uh, reaction of potassium hydroxide and magnesium nitrate. Here I have potassium AQ on the reactant and potassium AQ as a product. Nothing has changed here. I have nitrate AQ as a reactant and nitrate AQ as a product. Again, nothing has changed. These ions that don't participate in any chemistry are known as spectator ions. They're necessary, they're present, but they are not undergoing any chemical change. So they're spectating the actual chemical change. We remove these and we get the net ionic equation. Here we have an actual chemical change. There's a difference between the hydroxide as AQ and the hydroxide in the solid form bonded to the magnesium. And the magnesium is AQ on the left and it's bonded to hydroxide as a solid on the right. So this is the chemistry that's happening. So to write a net ionic equation, first we write out our complete ionic equation. Then we identify the spectator ions. 
we cancel them out on both sides, and what we're left with is the net ionic equation. So let's summarize. A molecular equation has just the chemical formulas written. A complete ionic equation shows all the strong electrolytes as dissociated, since they really do exist as separated ions. And then a net ionic equation cancels out all the ions that don't do any chemistry, so we're just looking at the species that actually participate in the reaction.